Hi, hello, my name is Techno Echo, and today we will be playing something very different. Today we will be playing Terraria. So, this is very different, very new, and I think this is going to be very exciting. So I'm going to get the character created here real quick, and then I'll come back as soon as I got that done. Okay. Three, two, one, cut. Wrong button. And we are back! We got a character created, as you can see the world is still loading a little bit. And we need to get started here. So, if you guys this game, for anyone who does not know what Terraria is, you can see up in the top right hand corner, I have my health, where split is life. It's only 100, which we can expand later on. I also have my mana up in the top right corner, which will expand down the left side. And that's used mostly for magic weapons, which we don't have any, but we just started. And yeah. So, we're gonna get some wood and start off with very basic crafting. And then get some wooden armor so we can get some armor real quick. And get some houses created, because we need more NPCs than one, obviously. So, let's get to this. Cut down the trees with our copper axe. First enemy, and a uh, copper sword. Short. Copper short sword is not going to cut it. So, workbench. Get this wooden sword made it. Wait. There we go. Now it's time to put it There we go. <laughs> a little bit of fair health trade. It's a completely new world and a completely new character. So there's no funny business going on here. Armor. We have enough for the last piece. Yes! Great. So we have a full set of wood armor. And the guy is already ready. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some of wood. Because even though we already have a full of wood armor, it's not going to take a wood pickaxe or anything. We're still going to need it to make tables and chairs for our NPCs. So, that's all the thing we're going to do. Make this area completely flat. How about that? I'll flush this water. Okay. There we go. Flows away. So let's see. What is on this side of the world? Are we gonna jungle, or are we gonna have desert or snow? Water? Let's see. We have. Oh, it is a large world. Oops, this is gonna take a bit longer than I thought it would. And we do not move particularly fast. Some free resources right here. That is some iron. Pick that up. That's iron used. And also gonna also we're gonna have to get this tree out of here so we can actually break the blocks underneath the tree. So the saying iron is much better than wood. Make better tools out of iron, better armor out of iron, better everything out of iron. Useful thing we want to collect. We we're fortunate enough to have somebody at the top of our world. That's always a good thing. to get 13 iron. Wow. I'm just gonna switch this out real quick so I don't keep selecting my copper short sword instead of my other one. Ooh, look at this! We found more iron. But more importantly, we found a new So, I see it's very dark. We have a bit of gel. So we should be able to make some torches. Here we go. Three torches. So I'm gonna kill obviously more slimes. Wooden sword. 
Spam clicking away. <laughs> More important thing right now, iron. The monsters are distracting me. They keep coming from all angles. Got another one over there trying to run the ambush. What did he Okay. Now we close slimes. We can make some more torches. I'm going to shift right now. Aw, oh, seriously? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is there more? Is there more stuff down there? No, it's just stone. That's too bad. Some extra health. I do accept that. That's always good. So I can even do a big old dead end. Can we get across this gap? Yeah, barely. Yes. Bye bye, slimes. Oh, it's a snow biome on this side. It's in the jungle. It's on the other side of the world. Typically, they don't try to put the desert next to the snow bomb either. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So, in past experiences, the snow bomb has been very dangerous. Let's see if that proves correct. <laughs> or if we could actually find a cave, that'd be nice too. Okay. There could be a start of something over there. Let's see, anything? Anything at all? No. Okay. Continue onwards. Okay. Got some water over there. So, good thing I'm not playing in expert mode. In expert mode, the water gives you this awful slowness effect, so you never want to touch water ever in a snowball in expert mode. So, moving on down here. More water! Oh. And a nice slime. Those are a bit more difficult than your average slime. I should be able to fend them off. They have higher knockback resistance, so I'm not knocking them back as far as my sword. Oh boy. They're really coming after us. Send me a few more times. Water's dangerous, I forgot how dangerous water is. <laughs> okay, good, we could just barely make that jump. Only because that was a slant. If that wasn't a slanted block in the last one, we wouldn't be able to make that jump. Now I slime, we can just try to avoid him. Yep, okay, good. We're underwater again. Makes some very dark footage. Barely see the screen. Still in that water, see that? Oh, of course not. Come on. Give me a break. Keep moving! Anything. Anything at all over here. More ice slimes. Of course. Ah, oh, we're not able to. We were able to juke them, but then another one came out of nowhere. And more water! I see a common theme here. Oh, but it's a chest. I will snag that. Yes! We got some flippers! To make water traversing a bit easier on us. You can see them down there. So we got flippers. Continue onwards, and the snow bomb abruptly ends. Okay. Back into a grass zone. Let's see, can we find anything? More wood, which is not incredibly useful right now. Looks like nighttime is quick approaching. And we have a storm. <laughs> I'm going to use my sword. A bit of hilly terrain here. Quite typical for like one of these forest spirals. Continue onwards. The hopes of finding anything. There we go. There's something. There's barely nothing. It's a pot. But also, a big tree. So you can press control on your keyboard to do what I'm doing right now, which is activate smart cursor. 
smart cursor allows you to not have to aim your mouse where you're pointing. So instead of having to select every single block on my mouse, I can just aim my mouse in the direction. Very good for mining, very bad for building walls. And you can toggle that on and off. Here we go, this is a much more expansive cave. This is the cave we're looking for. Ooh, there's a chest over there. No grappling, no, because I don't want one of those yet. Okay, just press the E trying to. Uh, not too effective. Let's see what do we have. We have some this is boring stuff that we're gonna take anyways. One sparkling, our first magic weapon. Hooray! Also, we should do this with the last chest, but we're gonna mine it so we don't come and find this chest again. Think, oh look, a new chest! But in reality, it's not a new chest. It's the same chest from last time. Oh, please don't be a dead end. And it is. Come on! <laughs> I was so excited that I found a big cave and then I just did it. Well, at least we got another slime. Two more. We need more gel. We need more torches. Okay. What's that, Mr. Slime? There's an expanse over here. Now you can see that uh, your slime there's absolutely nothing over here. Now you'll have to pay for it with your life. Dirt block. Yeah, try to hit that parkour. Why love us? So I can do some more parkour. Struggling. There we go. And another slime. Hooray. Okay, he doesn't seem to care about it. Anything over here? It appears not. Please don't continue. What shall we find? Adventure's always fun. There we go. Another chest. Hooray! More stuff! Not useful stuff! More stuff! Another free chest, which means what I don't have to spend that for. I guess what I can't spend. Oh, no. Sneaky slime. Sneaking about. Whoa! That's a lot of damage. Ooh, he gave us an extra recall potion. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Slime. Pretty good exchange. trades his life for gel, but this time he traded his life for gel and a recall potion. Is there anything here? Big play blocks. Okay, there's just the pot. That's not very useful, is it? Ooh, a purple slime. So it's purple slime? Oh. It's like normal slimes, so it does more damage and it's more health. Apparently, it's more defense. Jump purple slime! Uh. Ow! Uh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be collecting the blow pipe over there. We're collecting seeds now and break the grass. Super useful. Jump slimy! Or don't, okay. We can't. We'll stand here waiting on the ground for you all day. We can get you on the way down. What do we have here? A real cave? Or a crappy cave that leads to nowhere? Wait a second. Look at that, I was right! I don't want to be right. But I was right! Oh, excuse me, can we push it? Now we've entered potion sickness, which means you cannot use any more healing items, which kind of sucks. So there's mushrooms, we could eat those. Now we can't because we have potion sickness. Thus the game's cooldown, so we can't just spam healing potions and never take damage ever. Okay. Continue. Let's see if we can find anything. Uh. Apart from slimes. Uh. Slimes are no good. No good, slime. Yeah, 
down the mountain. Stupid my fault. Okay, we got more water. And a mini cave, which actually has nothing in it. Okay, so we're gonna pull out a recall potion real quick in case we get down there too long and can't get back up. Do any glow sticks? Yes, we do. So, we're looking for some water chests. Absolutely not. So I think we're gonna pop a recall potion here and head back to spawn. So I guess that adventuring was fun. It's gonna come to an end now. Oh, um, should've, should've got some more stone. That's okay. I guess wood can do for now. We're going to build our first house so the guy doesn't die in the first night. So let's build up as high as we can. Okay, that's right there. Let's build out 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. So if you thought everything was after us in daytime, you were very wrong. Nighttime's about to come now. At nighttime, we get nighttime enemies. That's no good. No good at all. We get them zombies. But not a big fan of those. So in order for a house to be counted as a valid house in Terraria, it needs a few things. A chair. A table. A door. Some light. Okay. Torches. And some walls. I'm sure we're gonna make it a little That should be enough. Yeah. So, got a light in here. You shooting at me, Mr. Yard? Don't appreciate that, buddy. Okay, we're gonna build the door on this side. Okay, let's get the door down. Here we go. Table. And a chair. Now I know, you can use a workbench as a table. But I guess we didn't. Okay, that music indicates that now it's really nighttime. Before it was just dark, now it's actually nighttime. So, get this. I think that should count now. And in case you don't know, if your house counts as a house, you can always check the housing tab. So, is this a proper house? Yes, a suitable health. house. Like another guide. There we go! The guide is now gonna move in. Time when he's off screen. Puts more light down so you guys can see. Oh, and there's a zombie. Okay. Yeah, more he health and do more damage. I like the purple slot. Well, apparently, you can't get to me. I like the purple slime. Do not have much knockback resistance. We took the guy out, no problem. Oh, funny. Now it's dead. Hello, Mr. Guy. Got some mushrooms, some seeds, and another zombie. That'll scare the guy away. Bad zombie. Stop. No. He's gaining on me. This one does not have his little. Holy oh, crap! This one does not have his little knockback resistance. Now he's dead. No. Don't attack my guide. The guide also has bow and arrow, which he can use to attack the monsters. This one has more defense. Yeah, we fended them off. We'll help them again. Okay. So. How are things going? Pretty good, okay. This is going to be a bit of a longer video, because one night in Terraria, you don't get a lot done. Unless you're just really good at the game, which I want. Okay, let's not have extra elevation on this guy, because that makes it harder to hit him. He's dead. Well, it's hard to hit slimes at least. Now, there's another enemy which I haven't seen yet. So we're kind of surprised about that. There's our guy getting hurt again. He is. Let me go save the guide again. I don't want him to die. Man, guide. He's such a weird guy. Lots of health. He can barely fend for himself. We're gonna defend all these zombies. 
we're doing this with less than a minimum gear. You would not want to use this kind of stuff to fill ourselves. It's not entirely effective, but more effective thing from this game. So let's put like a furnace. I don't realize we have enough stone. That's another thing we're gonna do. We're gonna do it at daytime though. We don't want to get attacked by zombies because we try to traverse the world. Stop it! There it goes. So, let's check out this side of the world. Who's gonna try to stop me? Anybody? Anybody at all? No? Okay. And look at this, a big hole right off the bat. I should've went this way. Then it wouldn't make the footage so boring. Oh, okay, maybe it would. <laughs> okay, absolutely nothing. There's no one here trying to stop me from traversing the world. There we go! There we go, there's some competition for our life. That's a great way to think about this. See. He's running from us. There we go. Get back in the game, buddy. Poor grasshopper just jumped right in front of our sword. Die. Any more competition for our life? We'll show him who's the boss around here. Yeah, that's some more iron. That guy. Hopefully the guy by now has moved in. Get to the housing school. We have walked far enough away too. Anything at all? Okay, there's definitely a deeper cave. Take out some of the stone. Not with an axe. The axe does not give you help. And of course, to make matters worse, our pickaxe has a debuff on it. You can see that up there, where it says what it's called. It has slow on it. That's to make things a lot more fun, isn't it? Oh yes, definitely. So we're taking out the stone here, so we can make a furnace and we can smelt our iron. But we won't go make anything with it unless we, uh, unless we get an anvil, which we can. Iron. So, let's get a start on that. Oh, okay. There's a natural one way door there. I'm sure you guys have make this. Not planned. It's more of the next episodes. I thought you were going to see it closer. Okay, the zombie's coming down. I thought I got trapped. That would be great. And then we'd we'll be stuck in this three damage loop. Oh, hear that sound? You guys hear that? There's a falling star fell. Okay, let's stop these guys. You have been stopped. Okay. Our life competition is here. Also, the zombies. Unfortunately, I haven't found any ways to make this of it. You just built some type of structure that they came from this room. I haven't found anything. Surface. Build a very makeshift staircase. Very makeshift. There we go. Now that struggle's over, and we can dig upwards. Avoid the zombies. That's what, that's what we're doing. We're avoiding the zombies. We're not going to attack them because we're going to do a lot more damage in their groups. So let's get up here. Let's see. What can we do? There's a star. Okay, we want that star. Because after you collect three of those, you can increase your mana. Right now I have one star, but I can increase that. Because I can get those fallen stars over there. But be warned! Those fallen stars do not stay around forever. Once daytime appears, they, they disappear. Okay, I still have some building blocks. Okay, zombies are growling at me. Oh, smart crystal bits, I'm gonna put my, um, dirt wherever I like. Okay, that's no good. The zombie also no good. So we're gonna flee. And run away. 
while doing more exploring. Come on, Rotono! There is one of the other enemies I was talking about earlier. That is a demon eye. They are like the zombie, <coughs> except they can fly, and they do way more damage. And have less defense. Okay. Look at this, this cave one we're all right next to that one, I didn't even see it. Good thing for us right now. Okay, there's another chest up there I didn't get to open. We should get that on our way back up. Ooh, yes! Radar. And a dead end. That's not so good. See, the radar shows us how many enemies are nearby. So right now there's five. Creature counts. us. And there's an end. Whoa, he let us launch way down. That's not good. We have the higher ground advantage, and we are we are on our way out. We're going to get the potion. Yeah, your health begins by itself very slowly. That's why it's always good to have healing potions on you. As you progress in the game, so is your tier of healing potions. You get better healing potions as you progress. Haha. And another reader. We can sell them. Oh, and yes. They're both the same modifier, look at that. Anything up here? Their entrance, maybe? Oh, I threw a glow stick. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of torches, oh no! Glow sticks are not as good as torches. They despawn. I mean, it's a very good temporary light source. And the music is changed because we're in a desert one. So, it looks like once daytime comes, we're gonna have to kill some more slimes. So we can get some more torches. So we can do more adventuring. See how this game works? Okay, so we're gonna grab our dirt blocks. Can I make that jump? Yeah. Push it. We don't have any more torches, so we can make the jump. That's what's important. Oh, no. Okay, we're able to jump it. Yes, we got the whole zombie because he has slime on his head. He dropped from jail. So, make some more torches! Hooray! Apparently, we also had some gel on us that we didn't craft any torches. We always think that the head is dead. Okay. Now, these torches do not stop mobs from despawning or anything like that. This game is not Minecraft. I don't know where to get them stuck. We can trick their AI. Yes! <laughs> so, we have inadvertently created a one way door that they cannot get back up. All they can do is go down. They can try to go back up. They can't. They can't get to us. So we shall shoot them with a wand of sparkly. Okay, it's not very strong weapon. But it is, however, very cheap on mana, which I am a fan of. This thing is about as good as our wooden sword. There you go, he's dead. Okay, don't stand too close. They can hit you if you go too close. This is our only ranged weapon at the time. Oh boy. Okay. So if I why I haven't gone back up there, it's because when the daytime comes, these guys just, just they decide to leave us alone. They say, nah, nah fam, I'm out of here. I'm not about this daytime business. And that's when they leave. So, slice. There you go, he's dead. You know, we can get a little bit of distance. We have to range weapon. So, trick him to go around there. Yeah! What the heck, he made the jump! Not fair. He was running. I called hacks. He's cheating. Here with a sword. Uh, <laughs> he actually able to get a shot off of us. Come on. Can he, 
make the jump? Oh, what? They all can make the jump now? Did I modify the design somehow? Oh boy, and you can't go back down that way. Oh boy. So I couldn't do it earlier, but all of a sudden they decide that they can do it now. Okay, you can't go down that way. How about going up? Yes, going up you can make it. Okay, you should not be able to do that. Okay, no way. Bad news. Stay away! No! I shall shoot you with my wand of sparkling. Okay, you're too stupid. I am uh, I'm completely okay with that. How are we supposed to get back up? The track has the trap has tricked us. Okay, there we go. Will he be smart? No, he'll be stupid. What the heck was I'm not sure. Okay. I don't understand what's going on there. There are two demon eyes out there. I said that kind of thing. Oh, Whoa, he does a lot of damage. Okay, that music twists over means it's daytime. Woo! Stay back here, zombie. No! We took a lot of damage right there. You will not be the death of me. Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> Struggled real all of a sudden. Okay, now let's get out of here. Anything down here? No. Some torches. Those are always good. Ah. Die! Die! <laughs> no. Everything's up to get us in this game. Everything. I'm definitely going to need to get rid of that stupid low plant before it fills up my inventory with seeds. And seeds are not very useful for anything. Except for the blowpipe. You have a blowpipe, seeds are the bomb. <laughs> not really. And if you don't, well, then they just fill up your inventory and they're completely useless. Look at that, I got a gold coin already. That's pretty good. Nine range damage, so that's more than our Wanda Sparkling. But our Wanda Sparkling does not require ammo, it requires mana. Oh, we're gonna enter the desert now. Now, I advise you to be careful in the desert, because some very scary enemies can come after you. No. Oh, there's a delay. Okay, that's it. Just like our glow pipes from your weapon for a little while. WOC or weapon of choice. Okay. Let's see if there's an Antuian nest on the side of the jungle. Not jungle contestant, my bad. I'm sorry. Auto for vultures. Uh, okay, there is an Antuian nest. You need to be very careful with this. Listen, there we go. Just so gonna cover this up before we get a swarmer. Those things are bad. Before this guy can spawn. Fly out of there. To cover it up. There we go. So that's looking good, looking good. Let's see what is on this side of the world. Anything at all. There's plenty of cactus. We can make better weapons and tools of cactus, so let's grab some of them, I guess. Weapons and tools are the cactus in this game. And we got sand slimes. Like normal slimes, except more difficult. So, and with the wand of sparkling, which just sets them on fire. Here again. Oh man, they do a lot of damage. I say it because I did that so much damage so I did that. Oh man! No, the blow pipe's single target! What? Unacceptable. Oh, 
That's not a weapon. And if it is, it's weak. Oh man. Man. I'm strong. So there's some more ore over there, except that's tin. Tin is very useless. It's almost, it's a, it's almost worse than wood. It's slightly better. And the amount it is better is not enough to make me waste my time collecting. That slime's gonna come back up for revenge. And shoot him with the <laughs> shoot him with the wand of sparkling. Haha. Oh boy. Formation, look at that. Pinky! Now guys, if you don't know who this is, this is Pinky. Pinky is a very weak slime. That has a lot of health. Weak on damage, not weak on health. Pinky has 250 health. And very, very low knockback It's probably even negative knockback resistance. So we're just gonna slice dice, Pinky. In the, it's in the yellow. Pinky, no. Jump, Pinky. Yeah. <laughs> Jump so I can hit you with my sword. That sounds great. Okay, it only appears that Pinky is doing two to four damage. It's not a lot, but it could be a lot in succession. As I'm demonstrating by hitting Pinky with my weak wooden sword that only does with 4 damage. Sometimes 5. Sometimes even more if I get a crit. It's another thing with crits. Boom! Pinky goes flying! So, if this was, if this was not my... If this was my first time killing Pinky right now, I get an achievement. But, I've killed Pinky many times. It's not my first time. I played Terraria before. I beat the game before. Look at that! 28 gold, and 1 gold. Not 20 gold, 28 pink slime. What am I saying? We got 1 gold and 28 pink slime. Pink slime can be used to make bouncy grenades, bouncy bombs, bouncy dynamite, and all things bouncy. Excuse me. Look, there's a cave down here. Well, what will we find down there? Well, you guys will never know, because I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching, and if you want to find out what's down there in that cave, better tune in next time. Goodbye.